the aeroplane makes a complete half circle of 50 meter radius or equal to 50 meter when flying at 200 kilometers per hour velocity equal to 200 kilometers per hour from that 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter then 1 hour equal to 60 into 60 1 hour equal to 60 minutes again 60 minutes equal to 60 1 minute equal to 60 seconds so 200 multiplied by 1000 divided by 60 multiplied by 60 55.6 meter per second the propeller of plane has a mass of 400 kg m equal to 400 kg the radius of gyration 0.3 meter the engine rotates at 2400 rpm n equal to 2400 rpm omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 from that you will get 251 radian per second we need to find gyroscopic coupled i omega p and its effect we can easily find the i value using the formula of i equals to m k squared m value known 400 kg k 0.3 so 400 multiplied by 0.3 square, 36 kg meter square. Omega P equal to V by here V 55.6 radius 50. You will get 1.1 radian per second. C equal to I omega omega P. I equal to 36 omega equal to 251. Then omega P 1.11. Couple C equal to 10.046 kilo newton meter now we need to find the effect of gyroscopic couple we can find the effect of gyroscopic couple using a table there is no need to remember the complete table for clockwise rotation to left turn the condition is rise the nose tip the tail so this is the only condition you have to remember from that you can easily find condition 2. So what is the difference between condition 1 and 2? Only left and right. Then we have to reverse this condition. Instead of rise the nose, tip the tail, we have to write it as tip the nose, rise the tail. Then condition 3, counterclockwise, left turn. This is the difference between 1 and 3. Counterclockwise, left turn, tip the nose, rise the tail. Then counterclockwise, right turn, just opposite to 3 and 4. Rise the nose, pick the tires. Then what is the difference between table 1 and table 2? Only front view, rear view. So whatever you have written here, right, just opposite. Pick the nose, rise the tail. Rise the nose, tip the tail. Rise the nose, tip the tail. Tip the nose, rise the tail all are just opposite of table 1. Now, in the problem statement, the aeroplane makes left turn, rear view and clockwise rotation. From the table, clockwise, rear view, left turn, the condition is rise the nose, tip the tail. So here, when the aeroplane turns towards left, the effect of gyroscopic couple is to rise the nose upward and dip the tail downward. 